This is one of the objects that was made with the 3D printer. This is a lock and key. Totally functional. This is an example of the kind of applications that 3D printing has. Now, can you imagine if this is an ancient Egyptian artifact and all you had was part of the base, maybe part of this, part of this. Now, the way that it's normally done is you would take clay or some other modeling material to fill in the gaps. And that works fine. But if you use 3D printing, then you can use silicone or you can use, in this case, corn-based plastic to create the missing parts of the artifact so that you then have the hole. Now, the advantage with that is that once you have the specs for the artifact entered into the 3D printer and you have it on file, then other museums and other universities can then download the artifact and literally print out a scientifically accurate model of the artifact itself. And I think the applications of that for archaeology and in particular for, for Egyptology are just incredible. So let's go take a look at some of the uh, 3D applications as they're being used at the moment. I do need to know about